Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. At the end of the previous episode we accepted yet another contract to destroy a brigand camp. Uh, this one is a little bit disappointing, I was really hoping to see uh, a brigand raider or two, but well, once again it just thugs and poachers. This one could be uh, a little bit more dangerous because of the terrain that we're going to be fighting it. All of this, uh, these hills could uh, prepare some nasty surprises, so let's see how the map looks like. Uh, actually, before we do that, do we have any level ups? Nope. I'm actually thinking that it might be better to do this during the night. I just realized, how many poachers do they have? Four to six. Hmm. This is definitely better uh, to do this um, during the night, actually. Come on. Not yet. There we go. Good. Uh, I was actually hoping that we would start under uh, the hill and we would retreat and force them to move. In this case, we definitely don't want to move back. So let's see if they move forward. That's the first thing that we need to know. Okay, I'm back. I apologize. I had to make an emergency cut because I almost sneezed into the mic. <clears throat> But I'm back, hopefully everything will be fine now. Uh, the AI did move forward, but for some reason only four of the thugs. Well, that's fine for us, of course. So, I don't think we even want spear walls for this. We actually want these four to get to us as soon as possible so that we can kill them before the rest of their friends um, come close. Okay, what do we focus on here? Probably this guy or this guy, just the two people who have basically no helmets. What's the chance? Oh, only 39, 44. Okay, let's go with the higher chance to hit. I'll take that. And I wonder if everyone else, yeah, they are all moving. So how many bows do you guys have? Only one so far, that's good. Uh, 58. Well, oh, let's just try. I'll take every bit of damage that I can get. What's the chance to hit on the poacher? 52? That's not bad. Nope, not enough. Wait. So ideally we want to kill enough of them so that these two start running away. Uh, they can potentially be quite dangerous if they get lucky with the uh, uh, headshots. And at the same time, they don't really have anything valuable. Oh, are you really moving back? Interesting. <clears throat> I guess I should have just engaged. I'm no, I don't think I'll be able to do it. I'm quite curious. I think I'm gonna stay back. That would suck because I really don't want to attack them. Well, that was a lucky shot. This could change everything. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is the weird fight that sometimes happens when the AI just can't decide what to do. But I think after the the archer died, they will just attack. Okay, here we could try our luck and go for the panic. There we go. If it wasn't for these two, I would just uh, engage. But I really don't want to get hit by those 200 flails. Okay, what's the chance to hit here? 54, uh, this is blocked, and this is 42. Well, I guess we try to kill another poacher. Wow. I'm actually surprised how much damage we can do with that um, uh, short bow. I know these are just like poachers and thugs, but we are getting one shots quite reliably. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's fine. Yeah, let's just engage. Uh, wait. Nice. I didn't expect that with only 56% chance to hit. But I probably should get used to uh, what just keeps happening over and over again when we have like lower, let's say, chance to hit. We hit quite reliably when we are around like 80%, then the hit is almost impossible. That just, I don't know, it feels like that's what keeps happening. This might be a problem. Forty-one, fifty-two. I think I'll risk it. Just go with forty-one uh, twice, and uh, holy crap, they go right away. I don't like that at all. Can I? This is what? Is this three action points? This should be. No, this is seven. I thought that the aim should was six. The wolf should be able to survive a hit from, from that, right? So, okay, that's not okay. But could have been so much worse. Okay, so that one is gone. This one is also actually gone. They both panicked at the same time, I think. Come on, I really needed that to be a hit. Good. 
good. Perfect. Can they even... They, somehow they can run away. Okay, three level ups. And did we get anything valuable? No. 11 tools and supplies, 173 gold. I mean, I'll take it. I was really hoping we would get at least like a signet ring. Somehow we are at 90 tools and supplies. Where the hell did that come from? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised Because like one or two episodes ago we are down to zero and I bought like one stack maybe Oh hey there are actually quite a few new people here, I think. It's like two hunters, one or two monks. Okay, so what's the highest priority? Hunters and monks. Let's start with the monk. That's initiative, that's not resolve. And this is Resolve, not Initiative. Come on! I don't think I want to take this one. Sure, um, iron lungs, decent. It's better for like a frontliner, but for uh, an archer, it's still pretty good. Sure shot, I, I don't know what to think about it, because that minus 10 range defense is a lot. Plus, in many cases, range defense is what we want to actually scale... Um, range skill for our arches, right? And like all of the range characters. So often range defense is more valuable or specifically 10 range defense would be more valuable than 10% range damage. So I would say in many cases, this is actually a negative. Then only one star range skill and we don't have stars in either initiative or range defense. So, like, secondary scalers for range to that. Yeah, this is not good enough. Damn it. Those two needed to have uh, their stat switch that resolve for initiative. Then both would have been great. Uh, where is the other? Well, except that he's double tongued, or she is double tongued. Fear of green skins, whatever. But I think Double Tongue might be one of the worst traits that is in the game. Uh, 
Also, fatigue actually is not that important for a range character. So this is <clears throat> this is just a two-star range skill with the um, okay-ish secondary stat that most of the time you don't really scale that high. And then really, really bad trait. Nope. I'm not sure if it's possible to get rid somehow of double tongue through an event or something. Because I've never recruited anyone with that perk actually. I think it's that bad, so no matter how good the stats are, if if there is this trait, I, I never take the person, so... Uh, I have no idea if it's possible to get rid of it, but I don't think so. I think I checked it on the wiki, and I don't think there is a way to get rid of it. Okay, what else do we have? Not much. Oh, 252 for a wild man. Double tongue there. What the hell is wrong with the people here? A thousand for a boyer. That sounds too expensive. Well, four thousand for a militia, man. That's ridiculous. Yeah, they really increased the prices on, on the militia. Thinking if I should check the poachers, but they are really quite bad. Um, let's save the money, and we'll only be looking uh, at the um, at the like good backgrounds at this point. Keep checking for northern slings just in case. Last time it took us forever to find one, so this time I'll start looking earlier. And do we need anything here? I don't think so. How much money can we get? Um I mean we can sell some some stuff. Prices are not great, but it's not terrible either. Okay, where do we go from here? Grunland, I think that was the that was the goal. Oh, we also have those level ups. It's level seven. Seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So that's six points. One, two, three. Probably four. Hmm. I don't think I can afford to take the Cleaver Master. It only increases the bleed and makes the uh, Cleaver skills cheaper. But... Um, I don't think we want to equip a whip. Because whips were nerfed to oblivion. We don't really care about the Cleaver Mastering. I really want to take Alert. Because if we are taking a Nimble and Dodge, the 20% initiative is must have. Uh, 
how much was it? 26 initiative for one perk. Yeah, that's just too good to pass on. I think we are fine resolve wise. Since we are not taking the cleaver mastery, we're gonna need the uh, stamina. At least a little bit more. Headhunter sounds pretty good here. I think I will take Nimble first. To add at least some survivability. One, two, three. Uh, I really want alert here. Uh, this build would be so much better with it. And what about you? So you are clearly a throwaway. I have to, the 27 resolve is a disaster. Come on, there has to be something here. At least one random group of brigands or anything. Nope. I was hoping that we would uh, find another brigand camp here. And uh, that would be the camp that last time the raid on uh, Mullenheim spawned from. But uh, I think I was correct that it actually spawned all the way here in the camp that we destroyed, unfortunately. Okay, we definitely want to do that one. Hopefully it won't be a necromancer. And... Finsterstadt? Might actually be going there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that's a little too far. Because we want to visit both these two cities and want to be able to accept contracts. Uh, okay. First of all, let's check recruits. That's a lot of um, resolve penalties. And uh, Hunters already started quite low resolve by so during the night against uh, Fear, Panic or Mind Control this guy could be at like minus minus fifteen resolve. 
Uh, okay, that sounds really bad. Really? Really? Oh, and he, he also has uh, a light, which is one of the, actually one of the best perks for uh, ranged builds. So I guess the next, um, like, Cell Sword is gonna be 3 star range, range skill. Damn, if this was range skill, this would be, like, almost, actually, no, this is melee defense. Yeah, th actually, no, this, um... Would be like a perfect frontliner. Once again, all of the fatigue for a monk, no resolve. Thinking about checking this guy for 600 or so let's say 700, I would probably be willing to accept well rolled militia yeah what else we, uh, we don't really need supplies Let's just do the contract, then we will check again. This is a two skull. Decent reward. So there could be riders here, but there also could be a necromancer. Okay, what are we looking at here? Rebel Warders Poacher. So this one we want to fight during the day. Because if there is a Necromancer, I think we want to be able... Actually... Does it matter? Because no matter what, we will have to rush the Necromancer. So it doesn't matter if it's day or night, I think. Okay, let's just go in. Come on. Okay, no necromancer. I'm surprised that the fight is so easy. I thought that it was basically guaranteed that we would see either raiders or a necromancer. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong. Let's actually activate the spear wall. It's gonna be a pain in the ass for them moving around here. Good. So that's one long weapon gone.
Okay, so you're staying there. Um, thinking if I want to start moving forward on the other side. Depends on how many uh, we kill here, I think. Yeah, that's not a good start. That's horrible. I'll probably have to send one more person up here. Come on, it's 45%. Panic. Well, that's not bad. Come on. All the ranged attacks missed. I think at this point we can move forward finally, start attacking here. Uh, what are these two doing? That's a good question. I might just move Inga. Wait. Good. Stop that! How? Also, how did the... We take so much damage. That was like 60 damage, or maybe 50 damage. No, that was probably more than 50 damage in one hit. What base type is this thing? Is it a... There's no way that's a hammer. Yeah, that's not helping. I was hoping that I would just do knockback and move away. 
No, that's not happening. Okay, good. It still could be a problem though. Finally, we got lucky <clears throat> and blocked some attacks. Because the start was horrible. Taurus Moon got hit by like... I think it was 6 out of 7 attacks. Okay, didn't get anything out of this. I wonder, is it worth it? Repairing this armor. That's 90 points. This one, that's the same thing. Yeah, if we want a new armor set, we probably should fix this one. That's another 90 point set. Okay. Prices are pretty good for selling. this base that's an X and it is 15 to 20 damage how did we take like 60 damage from it what the hell happened there that one attack was ridiculous I think I'm gonna sell the second Morning Star. I don't think I want to use two. Now, how much is the food here? It's expensive. Everything except for. Ammo is actually expensive here, but 140 for a full stack, that's a good price. Okay, let's get that. Maybe a stack of fresh meat, just one. There's probably no reason looking at anything else because the prices really are high. Okay, so the plan, Hochval Waldland. I'm actually tempted to just go directly to Waldland here. Now we need to see as many recruits as possible. We have the money right now. Why are you going there?
Uh, what the hell happened here? Not serious? Not serious. 16 of them. We should be able to handle 16 small ones. But I have a feeling that at this point, there is gonna be more than that. It's day 50. If there is 16 small ones, I'd be really surprised. Yeah, I think this is a pass. Let's check the food again. That's much better. And they have a falcon. How much do you guys want? That's a little too much still. By the way, what is the threshold when we start getting um, contracts from the noble houses? Or it doesn't necessarily have to be you know, contracts from noble houses. I would just like to unlock the option to get contracts in all cities, right? So that the forts also offer their contracts. <clears throat> it's, is it like 1500, I think? That's still quite far away. Or it could be 1250. Oh, that's a huge swamp. Can we go around? Nope. Yeah, it's definitely better to go through. It's actually not as big as it looked like. Um, Yeah, because I want to explore as much as possible on the way. I'll set up a camp during the night. And then maybe we'll even try... ...to find the mountain and climb it. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, was it right on the edge that we didn't see it? Or was it because it's in the forest that we didn't see it from the mountain? Well, <clears throat> it's still just a bunch of thugs. But it's a camp, so there is a small chance we find, like, I don't know, maybe signet ring, salt, copper ingot, something like that. Some, to some tools and supplies for sure, some ammo. <clears throat> And it should be quite an easy fight. There is just this guy and this guy, I think, that we have to worry about. Actually, these three. Ooh, two daggers. Nice. I just wanted to say, no headshots. And immediately we got hit. For a forest map, that's pretty open. I 
Okay, let's focus on this one. Or we can actually reach the poacher. 74, it's still pretty good. Could finish of this one, but we have more people who can attack him. I think instead I'll try this guy almost. Okay, so that's the pull shit down. These two are making me nervous. If they got lucky with their stabs, we would be recovering from it for a while. Okay. Good. Now we have to kill them before they attack again. Damn it. Can't afford it to wait for him to bleed out. Yeah, that's also pretty bad. Damn it. This was a bad turn. Shot. Okay, I'll take that. Now we need to do something about the guy with the pickaxe. Because if he gets lucky and hits twice, that would hurt. I might. Alright, oh, that's. No! Oh. I forgot this counts as the weird polearm spear thing, and it doesn't have the knockback attack. And that's what I wanted to do. Uh, knockback and then be protected by the spear wall. Okay, well, that didn't work at all. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so he basically did for me what I wanted to do. Uh, this is a mess. Come on. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, let's try again. 68, there we go. I guess I'll just try to finish him off. Why am I not surprised that he managed to hit both attacks? Okay, what did we get? Beer, 23, spoils in 7, that's not bad. 137 gold. I expected more supplies, but we got the signet ring, so that's nice. Yeah, the beer is worth like 120-ish gold, another 130 as the drop, 250-ish from the signet ring, uh, I'll take it. Okay, what do we start it with? I guess recruits. Once again, nothing this time. They also made jugglers quite expensive. I noticed that they used to be like four or five hundred ish gold, from what I remember, and now they are like eight to twelve hundred every single time. What else? How much can we get for that signet ring? Oof, that's really bad. Secure derelict crypt. I don't think I want to do this as a two skull contract. This sounds nasty. And um, there could be anything. I think there is even a small, a small chance that this could be skeletons. Skeletons, zombies, uh, there could easily be a ghost at this point, necromancers, uh, it could be full of Nasseries, there could be easily 20 Nasseries, or like the only option that I wouldn't mind is probably grave robberies. Uh, but I think the grave robbers can have a necromancer with them, I think I've seen that. So... Ugh. Where is Craigmarks? Craigmarks shouldn't be that far southwest. Might be somewhere in the forest because we just checked everything here. Or it could be either like in the fog. What's the reward? 300, that's not worth it. We could easily spend like a day looking for it if we get unlucky. And at this point, a day of our time is worth more than 300 crowns.
Oh, and by the way, I saw the tracks up here, but it looked like there were some, there were some orcs hunting villagers, and that's something I don't want to get uh, involved in at this point. Hey, do we check another hunter? Once again, get another three star melee skill roll. This guy potentially might be okay. It doesn't look like much, but he has one star range defense and one star range skill. So, if we use the range defense to scale the range skill, we should have the perks, I think. Yeah, there has been reader. I think that's the one. The question is, is this uh, recruit worth 1500 gold? Uh, she has um, hunting bow. So, that's something. Every single time, it has to be there. Yeah, this is uh, this is much worse. Here we have uh, fatigue, which we don't need. Uh, I'm not talking about the melee skill, but fatigue. We would rather see initiative than fatigue. Like I would take fatigue as a secondary skill if it was one star range skill, two star range defense, and then two star fatigue. Sure, I would take that. That works. <clears throat> but oh, the fatigue is only like a secondary skill. We need a scale or either initiative or range defense. Um, and it's not here. Another one? Holy crap. Every single time. Every single hunter that I check has melee skill. Star. At least one. It has to be there. Was there anything else that would be worth checking? We can actually make a cut here. Before we potentially recruit a god, what do you think, guys? Is this good enough for 1500? We do need more people, and this is not a complete disaster. It heavily depends on how um, the stats will, will be rolled, of course. Flappy, this is basically just about that minus 3 fatigue, and I don't think minus 3 fatigue really matters that much, because I don't care about 5% experience gain, 3 hit points, yeah. It's... It's more annoying than like really bad. So I don't really care about this that much. Same as Bright, don't care about that at all. So it's really just about these stats. Is it worth it or not? How much money do we have? 5,000. Maybe what I should do, I should check uh, contracts. Can we get more money around here? No.
Really? They have so much stuff here. And not a single northern sling. What the hell? Are they really available only, like, randomly on marketplaces in the south? That's weird. Maybe I should be checking that as well. Oh, hey, Mystic Stuff. Interesting. How much is it? Hey, well, that's expensive. But it's good to know that you can actually get your hands on these. Because that's um, the endgame weapon for... Who's switching to stuff? I think Reinhold, right? Yeah. And do we have a tip stuff in the inventory? We do. So this is 30-40, that one is 40-50. That's a decent damage boost. And I probably should keep this stuff. Because we'll be switching probably after the next fight. Ooh, look at the prices for ammo. I think we're gonna buy a lot of ammo here. Definitely at least two stacks, but probably even more. 115. Then surprise that we probably won't get for a long time. I'll buy one more stack. <clears throat> Okay, and I think that will be all for this episode. So, as I said, uh, what do you think about um, about the hunter? Worth it or not? Would you take her? I actually lean towards yes, she is worth it. But with my luck, I fully expect all of her roles to be like on the low side. Which is going to make her definitely not worth it. But we won't know until we try, so... Yeah. Okay, so I hope that you liked this episode. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.